welcome all of you with Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And uh, I expect uh, you all be fine along with your friends and uh, family and our relatives. Today we will discuss about uh, the functions of blood. Uh, before discussing the functions of blood, uh, let's first of all know something about uh, blood. Blood is actually a, a red colored fluid tissue uh, that flows in our body through infinite blood vessels that is arteries and veins and blood capillaries. So blood is actually a connective tissue. Rather to say it's a complex tissue because it's made up of the uh, three different types of the cells. It's complex tissue. It's not a simple tissue, it's a complex tissue and it's an connective tissue or transporting tissue. Uh, because uh, hair organisms uh, need such systems to transport their things from one place to the other place but as far as the uh, lower organisms are concerned, uh, unicellular organisms uh, transport uh, takes place uh, with the help of you know, simple diffusion and osmosis as the cells are direct contact with the environment and the substances they require they get uh, by simple diffusion and uh, by the process of osmosis but in higher plants and animals they require the uh, complex systems and uh, uh, in this regard, so we have blood to transport the different materials from one place of the body to the another place of body. And uh, a study of the blood is called as the hematology. And uh, blood is red because of uh, hemoglobin and iron containing program, you know, pigment present in blood. And uh, uh, the pH of blood is exactly 7.4. Is the pH of blood? It is. Uh, we can say it is slightly alkaline. Uh, we are talking about nature of blood. Yeah, it is uh, pH is uh, 7.4, so it's uh, slightly alkaline in nature. And uh, why doesn't the blood populates in our body? And when it uh, contacts with the environment, uh, it shows coagulation. It is because the blood contains an anticoagulant pigment that is called as hybrid, uh, which is formed in the a liver, so blood is not coagulated inside our body because of an anticoagulant substance that is called as a heparin. Uh, this was a bit about the blood, so let's understand the functions of blood. Okay, blood carries the oxygen uh, from lungs uh, to the cells uh, for respiration or for the oxidation of the food. And uh, I mentioned here that uh, if the RBCs we carry the oxygen and the pigment actually actually hemoglobin and iron containing you know protein present in the RBCs that carry the oxygen uh, from lungs to the cells for the respiration is the important function of the blood. Okay, so RBCs play an important role for the transport of oxygen. Now the next point is uh, blood also you know carries the carbon dioxide from the cells to lungs then uh, outside body. As we know that carbon dioxide is you know produced during you know the respiration and uh, it is toxic gas and uh, blood transports carbon dioxide from cells to the lungs then outside of the body and it's also an important role of the blood and number third is blood also carries the digested food from small intestines uh, to the cells for oxidation or for the respiration as we know that this uh, small intestine is a complete site of uh, digestion in human beings where from the 
uh, food is, you know, transported from the small intestines to the blood, uh, to the targeted sites, uh, that is uh, the cells, through blood. And it carries the hormones, blood also carries the hormones from the glands to the target sites. It's an one more important rule of the blood, uh, whether endocrine glands or exocrine glands. So, hormones are functional at the target site. And where they are inside in our body, they are not functional where they are inside. So, for, for the function uh, for hormones, blood carries the hormones from the glands to the target site where they influence the physiological processes or play a specific role in the body. So, blood, blood plays an important role for transport of hormones. Okay, blood also carries uh, the toxic substance, urea, during different metabolic activities. Toxic substance like urea is produced in our body. It's high concentration in the blood and in the cells is toxic and lethal for the human body. So blood carries uh, the urea from liver to kidneys for ultrafiltration. For ultrafiltration. Under filtration, it's also an important role of uh, blood that I mentioned, and blood also protects us from the pathogens and the foreign bodies. When the pathogens uh, or the foreign bodies enter in our body through water or through, you know, through food or by inhaling uh, oxygen, the WBCs, particular type of the cells present in the blood, WBCs, they kill. The pathogens by the process of phagocytosis. So we can say that blood protects us from the number of infections or pathogens as the important cells, WBCs, kill the, these very much pathogens by the process of phagocytosis. And blood also plays a role in maintaining our body temperature normal body temperature or body temperature that is equal to 37 degrees Celsius or 98.6 Fahrenheit. Blood plays an important role to maintain our body temperature to the normal level. So this was all about the functions of blood. I hope you have so this understand yoga because uh, ये जो टॉपिक है ये एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट के लिए काफी इंपॉर्टेंट है और ये पूछा भी जाता है एग्जाम्स में सो आई बिलीव कि आपने इसको अच्छे से अंडरस्टैंड किया होगा एंड गुड लक एंड हैव अ रेस्ट ऑफ द जर्नी वेरी नाइस एंड गुड लक फॉर एवरीवन एंड यू नो वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू विद इस्लामिक ग्रीटिंग्स अस्सलाम वालेकुम व रहमतुल्लाहि व बरकातहू